there we go. Okay, here we are. We've just arrived at Nick's uh, beautiful property and um, doing a bit of fiddle work, as I call it, or some siding in. And uh, it feel, feels good, felt good, and Nick's happy, so I'm happy too. Thank you very much. Hi everybody, it's our first day of hunting and um, we're going to go and try and find some Nyala. Excellent, thank you. <laughs> going to be dry. Okay, I'll leave you do the bino work. Nick, I'll just, I'm just bare with the rifle, okay? Making a tree damp. I'm not sure, but it looks like he got one. Yeah, it's a, yeah, he's a big bull to that. Jeez, look. Definitely got one on. Anyway, I was catching glimpses of his one horn coming yeah. out of the tree and I was getting quite excited yeah. and then.
Okay, it's the end of day one for uh, Rob's first African safari. Um, we were out early this morning, it was pretty chilly, looking for, uh, Nyo focusing on Nyala. Uh, saw a couple of bulls, but nothing great. Uh, headed home for brunch and came out of a beautiful afternoon. The sun was out, um, saw a number of kudu bulls, two really, really nice bulls that went into a really thick valley that never came out. And then um, towards evening time, we stalked a group of six, a uh, couple of younger bulls, and then the last bull to come out, beautiful big bull, but uh, only had one horn. Uh, that's the way hunting goes. Uh, we pulled out of there, and then we spotted a group of uh, bachelor herd of uh, black wildebeest, snuck up onto them, got uh, within 150 yards, and uh, again, unfortunately, no shooters. So just one of those things, but an awesome, awesome end to a wonderful day. Those two in. Do what I mean. oh, okay. No, no, no worries. Go one in. Yes. Let's get into the thick stuff. Hopefully those could move off and the let you stay behind. Good news, very good bull. One higher? Yeah. We're at 310 now. It does could you again. Bust. 310 we are at. Yeah. Just it's see if the it. uh, it's not gonna affect much. Just see if, let's just give it a few minutes, see if those kudu don't, if those kudu go, we'll be able to get closer, but if they stay there, then we... It's starting to walk, look. Yeah. The top one's better. Look at that, sorry. Six or one off and doesn't the other, actually. Yeah. Yeah, the top one is a little bit better. Okay. Is it taker? Yeah, no, definitely. Let's try and get to the hat tree over there. Try and cut 20, 30 off, but then they're probably going to spot us. Yeah. yeah. But yeah, we've got time, so we can get you set up. And I'm going to get this one out. Just tell me when you're locked on, then I'm going to set this fifth stick up. 
So he's lying down, the one we're looking at. Got him, are you nice and steady on him? Okay, so you want to go for his, you want to go to his front shoulder. If the wind drifts a little bit, that's also fine. It'll still go into the engine room. Okay, just get a range. Okay, when you're ready. Okay, so he's the one lying down looking yeah. to the right. Huh? Yeah. Okay. Missed him on the right hand side. Sorry, no worries. Totally, totally missed. Yeah, totally there. He's standing there, you can see him. Okay, on his shoulder. That one didn't miss. Connected? Absolutely smashed. Rolled. Smashed him, rolled down. Thank you very much. Well done. Whoa. He's not moving? Not moving. I think you flushed him right on the shoulder. Sounded good. Sounded good, yeah. <laughs> as, as I was told once upon a time, the finest sound in all of nature. Oh, thank you so much. Okay, man. let's just stick another round. Okay, yeah? to pick it up, okay. stick another round in while we're walking up there, just in case. And give me that one. Yeah. It felt good. I don't know what happened to the first shot. Maybe I went over the top of him, did I? Uh, you were just in front of him, I think. Okay, okay stick that in safety on. Okay, let's get back to zero. Oh, sorry. Uh, that there? Yeah. Okay, let's Thank go. Let's go up slowly. Two three five. Yeah. Are you sure you shot the right one? I, I hope so. <laughs> no. What, did you, I? Be, no, you did. Beautiful oh, ball. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I can pretty much set him up for a photo right where he's lying. Well, Congratulations. Thank you so First much. African thank animal. you very much, sir. Awesome. I'm so happy. Well, we hit him, but it was solid. Where's the shot? It was solid. Yeah, no, it's just crumpled. I definitely don't hear some. I would have hoped. Oh. No, maybe died of fright. <laughs> no, a lot of blood here. Okay, so day two of uh, Rob's African safari. I uh, woke up this morning, beautiful morning. Um, the weather people told us the wind was only going to get you at 10-ish, but uh, we drove to the far extent of our property, beautiful valleys, and when we got here the wind was absolutely howling. Um, makes hunting a little tougher, but um, spotted uh, four, five, six groups of um, lechwick cows, no bulls. And uh, then we eventually spotted a group up against the hillside here, lying down out of the wind. Uh, a couple of kudu cows with them. Um, knew it was a shooter straight away and uh, put a stalk on them. Fortunately for us, the kudu picked us up very early, but they kind of slipped out the side and didn't disturb the lechwe. And we got ourselves to about 235 yards. Uh, tough shot in this wind. But uh, yeah, Rob made a great shot, one shot kill. and. Uh, First animal in Africa. Beautiful lechwe. Congrats. Excellent. Thank you so much, Nick. I much appreciate it. And uh, good day to everyone at home. And um, yeah, my first animal, and I couldn't be happier. So thank you, Nick. Thank awesome. You Pleasure.
Come on, Bernie. Let's go. you can see those big prickly pear plants shining in the sunshine sort of yeah. not this first hillside but the bottom of the second hill yeah uh, you just see his back so there's like three or four very big prickly pear plants shining in the sunshine he, he's eating there uh, just under the tree yeah just left of the tree now he's coming out into the open there next to the big prickly pear plants oh, yeah, go on. Just cut this way a little bit. So 200 meters. On the shoulder again? On the shoulder again, so we're dead on. on the shoulder. Great shot. Stack, okay. another, stack another one in. Yep. Okay. Safety on, safety on. Okay, just watch him. He's just kicking in the in the thing now. I think he's down. I just want to keep an eye on him. Good, very good shot. Thank you, thank you. Yeah, the back legs. Yeah. Do the dance, but his neck's yeah, his head's staying still. Yeah, let's just watch him for a minute or two. I'll just give him a couple of minutes to. Like, yeah, just give him a minute or two, and then we'll walk on. Out. And big boy's got a bit of. Uh, yeah, no, they got a bit, got a bit of will to live. Yes, yes, I understand. Just... <laughs> thank you. Is it alright? Mm, no, it's beautiful old Nyala bull there. The shot? Yeah, huh? shot was perfect. Thanks, Nick. It's just a beautiful, beautiful old boy. Yeah, very good. Yeah, I mean, really, you can see how he spirals out beautifully. Nice ivory tips. This is 
expect you'll find there won't be many teeth left in his mouth. Wow. That is spectacular. So when they're a little bit younger, Sorry? when they're younger, they'll be the, that black colour of his neck. Oh, okay. The so, males. Yeah, the male. So he's, got, he's gone almost grey. That's the exit. Oh no, he was yeah, he was facing it. That's the entrance. Yeah, yeah, that's right on exactly where you want to hit him. Exactly. Spot on. You did a good job. Well, sun setting on a on Rob's second day in Africa. Um, wind was pretty strong today. Uh, we came out this afternoon uh, to look for a nyala. First hour or two saw absolutely nothing, and then uh, as evening set in, the wind started dropping, and we spotted a couple of nyala cows, and we were actually walking over to glass them, have a glass on them, and then we spotted uh, another group with this beautiful old bull, part of them. So we had a Probably had a six, seven hundred yard uh, stalk over the ridge. Um, everything worked out beautifully. Sun wasn't in our eyes. Um, wind was perfect and um, got up to about 200. And uh, Rob made the perfect shot. Straight through both shoulders in a heap. And just, yeah, just a magnificent old Nyala bull. Really wonderful trophy. Congratulations. Thank you very much. Nick. Absolute really pleasure. Really appreciate it. Yeah. Really appreciate it. I couldn't be happier with the animal. Great. Uh, driving great guiding much appreciated thank you very much yeah been a wonderful thank day you. yeah it has been excellent couldn't have asked for better so thank you Cheers everyone, welcome to our new Hopewell Lodge, I hope you guys have a wonderful trip and uh, yes to making new friends and enjoying hunting, cheers. Thank you very much. Cheers. Thank you. Thank you. Cheers. for um, water buck and what else are we looking for here? Water, water buck and we've seen some bush buck, some warthog down there but um, we've got some uh, water buck bulls I guess. Yeah. It doesn't matter where you just get, you 
other one, you know. Click it for you. Okay. Okay, just wait for him to square up. He hasn't seen us. He's feeding. Just on that shoulder. Shot. Hang on here. Calm down. Okay. In. Okay. Follow him. He's going to stop you. Hit him well. Okay. Hit him again. Just hit. There he is. Hit him in the chest. Okay, let's just put another one in in case. The first shot was brilliant. Thank you. Okay. Okay, just keep an eye on him. Okay, if he gets up. Yeah, if he gets us this way. Okay, I'm going to move you slightly. Safety on. Can you see Can you see his shoulder? Yes. Okay, stick it. Hang on, we just range him. Okay, stick one in his shoulder. No, no. That is a tank of an eel. Jeez, look. Three shots, three hits. Three shots, three hits. You hit him, you hit him rock solid with your first one, otherwise he was gone, I promise you. Yeah, you see it. the difference in size between that one and the oh, other two? Oh, yeah. Check the neck on it. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so if you're on, let's just walk forward slowly. Your yeah, head's still up, yeah. We're going to finish him. Okay, you're not going anywhere. No? You're not going anywhere, we're just going oh, to finish. No. Just Hang on, put that in there. Okay, yeah, just wait for him to stop. There you go, stop shaking. Okay, no, he's not going anywhere. Straight in front of you, it's going down. Okay, safety on. Yeah. Safety on. We will have to give him one more. Yes, yes. Just turned around in the snow. Try to get up, but he can't. Yeah. Yeah. That's fine, we'll get between him and the bush. <laughs> Just check it. Check it the neck on that thing. Yeah. Seriously? I mean, so if we, if one of the other bulls had been out here grazing, I wouldn't have even come here. Yeah, fair enough, yeah. Because, yeah, yeah it just no, wasn't. Is, 
And be like you'd bomb the shoulder from here, Nick, sort of thing. Yeah, this gets nice and dead, nice and dead square on. Okay. Yeah. Crank that back a little, or you might miss. Don't miss now, Rob. Put the pressure on me. <laughs> that far below, you reckon? Yeah, because you're going to shoot a little bit high. Just under that, just under, right? Eh? Yeah, there's that like light-coloured spot there on his thing, just underneath that. I can really see. Just there. Is that where you wanted it? Golden, Hopefully. golden. Well, he took that and he lifts his head up. You just, you don't understand how much lead these things can choke. Well, I mean, look at the size of the neck. I mean, that's, oh, that neck weighs more than, probably weighs more than the eye you shot. <laughs> Serious? No point in putting any more. No, no, he's done. No, he's just having his lost. Yeah. No, trust me. If he could have got up, he would have got up. So he's on the inside. Oh, well, it's okay. It's all good. Yeah, he's no, on he's, on, he's on the inside of the fence. Absolutely. That's why I was. That's why when he was moving, yeah, his first, the first shot it was enough. He wasn't going anywhere, okay. but I didn't want him to <laughs> break. Can it. they jump? Can they jump? Oh, Lord, yes. So you, even the half fenced areas that you caught, they don't. These big bulls disappear. They oh, just okay. they hit the top of the fence and they go over, they go, yeah, and they'll right. disappear up into some remote spot. And when the rut's back on, they'll just come back in again. Undescribable. I can't. I can't describe how I'm feeling. Amazed. Absolutely amazed. What a hunt. Um, yeah, just feel great. I'm just so glad I uh, shot true. And um, standing here watching him taking his last few breaths is just amazing. So. So is that, you see that one? Went for yeah, it, so maybe just a little bit forward and a little a bit, bit lower and a bit forward. Yeah. Okay. You need another one. Okay, get yourself one. Yeah, get you know, you know, sit your up left hand in there. Right? So the, I mean, those oaks, those oaks horns were probably that long, oh, yeah. twice the length of these. Yes, yes, but yes. They, I mean, they're, they're probably five, six years younger than he is. Busted his shoulder, because remember he was a slight angle to you, wasn't dead square on now. Slight angle, so that's exactly where you had it. No, that's from, yeah. There's two, two in here. 
Uh, remember the other two shots on the other side. So these two, what, these, what do you think of? Was this a bit far back, this shot? No, that, 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 no, that's perfect. I would probably hit him there, but you shouldn't have that shot. Yeah. Oh, these are the two, these are the two, that, that, yeah, so that's the first one, that's the second one. Yeah, I mean, anywhere in there, you can fit, yeah. That is a, yeah. Bailey, you're not going to see many animals bigger than that in your lifetime, buddy. I definitely don't have to come back to try and beat him. Yeah, no. No, you're not going to beat that. No, you might find a bull with long horns, but yeah, that's, no, with, an eland, with an eland, that's not the issue. That's, yeah. yeah, I'm not. I'm more into the base. Yeah, base so than just, I mean, base. the neck and his dewlap oh. is dark, dark blue. And he's got a nice, nice ruff there. Yeah. The hair growing out of his, out of his face. So those other two dead, no, they were completely bare. Yeah. Okay. Much taller. Yes. But Cape Island actually weighs the most. This is the big body here. What do you reckon they go on the wolf? Oh, what, 500? No way more than that. She's going to dress out. She's going to dress out three, I'd say somewhere between three and 350. So between six and seven hundred kilos. The fruition? Yeah, yeah. Well, you know, there was a few do that. Wow. That's why he's called a blue bull. Like, and you could see the others were tan, so when that, brown. On the skin, that'll, on the flat skin, that'll come up good? Uh, yeah. Well, beautiful day three on uh, Rob's African journey. Uh, we came back to the mountains outside Bedford here. Um, just a beautiful morning. Uh, started off trying to find some kudu, but just really no movement. Didn't really see anything, few cows. Um, so sort of mid-morning we decided to go head up into the mountains, maybe look for some water buck. And uh, we got up right on top of the mountain and we were glassing there. We did see a few water buck but no bulls. And uh, then Alvin, our tracker, said there's an eland. Uh, spotted it about just over two kilometres away. And even from that distance we could see that he was something special. Um, wasn't on Rob's list of things to do. And I said to him, you sure you don't want an eland? Because you may never see another one like this. And uh, yeah, the wheels started turning and uh, here we are. Just the most, for me, the most amazing African animal. They are just, I mean, this eland bull is 13, 14 years old. His horns are worn down. Just the size of his neck and his dewlap is just truly a wonderful, wonderful trophy. Congratulations. Thank you so much, Nick, and great call. And thanks for the... Uh yeah, the explanation on just how wonderful he, he was from all that way away. I can't believe it. As we got closer, you were definitely right. So thank you very much, sir. Awesome. Yes, great guiding as usual.
the little out, the outcrop. Okay, so that from that outcrop go right, and you see there's a, that like in the bush there's like that grass, yellow grass patch, very close to the fence. That's it. There. If you just if you pick the fence up and just go down the fence line, you can't miss it. He's literally five yards from the fence. Oh yeah, I came from the fence here, right? I was thinking about it. Yeah, got it. Yeah, you got him. Got him. Yeah, you're a decent body. Yeah. Uh, but he's, no he's got, I mean, he's got decent ivory on him too, okay. but we've got plenty of days in the weather that's fairly decent, so. Okay, yeah, we don't have to rush into We anything. don't have to rush into anything. Good. We might, uh, Sounds like a plan. So right. you'll like this little valley and sort of hang? You should hang in here for you. It's, it's, there's nothing going on here, it's very quiet and that, yeah. so you should hang out here. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, so the females, the females and the and the piglets will yes. go back to their den every night. I see. These guys, uh, if it's raining or something, they'll slide into a hole. But a lot yeah. of the time, they'll just go into one of these big thickets I see. and they'll just yeah. reverse in there and yeah. sleep there. Yeah. You can actually, I'll show you when you walk by. You can see where they kind of reverse in, and there's like a big, big burrow where they. Looks like one of those. Uh, oh yeah, we call them like a bird. Yes. Yeah, exactly where the pig go. Uh, we left uh, quite early this morning, 5.30, to come to a, a different property we haven't been to before, looking for kudu, and climbing up the side of this, uh, gradually made our way up the side of this uh, mountain here, stopped and glassed, and um, Nick spotted a nice bull across on another ridge, so we're going to just um, pay a bit of a waiting game and watch what he does, and uh, might, might set off on a hike soon. So, wish us luck.
Lila, just at, at like 11 o'clock, just a couple of meters above this. Can't really see him now directly right on that tree. down there then Sunday's a very very nice day. Okay. Come up here and see if we can't right. like a plan. make a deal with them. Come to some sort of arrangement. Some sort of arrangement, yeah. Okay. So you reckon the, the lighter ones are... I don't no look the back one's exceptional eh? Yeah. yeah. Um there's nothing wrong with the front the front the front one's probably older. I like I like the uh, coat on the back coming back here. Yeah. Nice dark. Yeah. Skin. I can't see them at all now. Yeah, they're disappearing into thick shit there. And the breeze is well, by the time we get there it'll be dark. Yeah. Can't, we've got the address. The dark one's the one I saw this morning. The dark one? Mm. Yeah, I can see why you got a bit excited there. Yeah. <laughs> Just a bit. Just a bit, yeah. The good thing is that subtle, subtle things. The good thing is they're in a really easy place to get, so it shouldn't be a problem. Yeah. yeah. No, I'd like to re have get him in the scope. That's for sure. For sure. We've virtually done a 360 around them, haven't we? All day. They've been tucked in it all day. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, we we'll just need to get a little bit of luck, and he moves more that side. So we we'll just do yes, it's just more. just a little bit more accessible yeah. now. Yes. Uh, but they're not going to move far. And what's tomorrow's forecast? I think it's a bit windy tomorrow, so we'll stay down there. We can maybe look for a sable or a, okay. or a gemsbuck. And then Sunday, let's see if we can't look up with these guys. We know exactly where to come, straight yeah. to the lookout point here. And yeah. cool. All right, well, we might as well roll on down. Can't see us getting anything now. Yeah. Amazing, as the wind dropped. Yeah, we come. So the left or the right? Yeah, just, yeah, just, just uh, off, not dead not centre, just slightly off the side, whichever way he's angry. Kind of where the neck and the short neck and the chest meet. Okay. okay. That high, eh? Yeah, that high. Okay. Yeah. <clears throat> Hopefully we get him square on, but.
laying down and we yeah. walked, walked right past him. I guess you'd just need to see the back of his horns, would you, you know? Well, yeah, if you like. Right yeah, there. well, no, he'll, his head will be up, but yeah, okay. in the shade, and that's difficult, sometimes very difficult to spot them. Yeah, they mature quite quickly, generally oh, five, six, they mature. So he's already been kicked out of the herd, so he must be somewhere between eight and ten, yeah. Stick one in. Get yourself as steady as you can. Okay, you need to come down from the side of his jaw yeah. and you're going to hit him in the chest. Good shot. Okay, put another one in. Put another one in. Okay, so we'll go out. Safety on, safety on, safety on. Okay, let's walk forward slowly. <clears throat> Just yeah, it's a good shot, Dad. You knocked him over. Him? You're down. Okay, yeah, he's just as a leg up. Yeah, let's just make sure they are. They are oh, tough. Yeah, they okay. are tough. Okay. They are tough. They are tough. One forty four when you hit him. One forty four mate. Yeah. A little bit of rock and roll for that wind. Yeah, it wasn't easy. What's on? Yeah. Oh. That was a good shot. Thank you. Don't often fucking anchor these things with one. That is an old table bull there. Where's it, where do I hit, mate? Not right. No, I hit him in the neck there, right, Jim? Ah, uh, that's pretty oh. much that's pretty much where you had to hit him. That's all you could see. Yeah, it wasn't much to look dead, at. Yeah. Dead on, yeah. This is a smidge lower, but that no, that looks good. Dead on. Remember at that range the rifle's shooting that much higher. Oh, I see, yeah. But but I mean yeah, I went a little higher, yeah. Okay. Yeah, so I mean he was lying he was lying and yeah, you shot him through that gap through there, so that's all you could. That's a congrats. Thank you, Nick. Yeah. Much appreciated. So body-wise, he's well past his prime. Okay. Normally they're about 25% bigger, but he's got a serious set of horns on oh. him. Check it out. <laughs> Check it out. Wow. He's been, oh, just... he's been in the wars as well. Oh, wow. Oh, <laughs>
Be that is a, oh, that is a real curve back, isn't beautiful it? Beautiful sable bull. Yeah. Oh. So you can imagine now these are they get on their knees and they yeah. swipe each other with these things. Oh, okay. Knock knock each other knock out. Knock each other like that, and then every now and again one gets through the defences and they get stabbed. Yeah, I see. No, he is. He's a decent body. Uh, body wise, as I say, he's well past his prime, yeah, eh? Well, well yeah, past his prime. Sort of yeah, but he's bit. got a magnificent set of horns. Oh, man. they Jeez. are amazing. Yeah. I'm liking that. Look at that curve back there. He's a little bit ribby. Yeah, he's just. You can see he's been fighting too. He's got oh, scars yeah. on him all yeah. there, and he's just. Okay. He had a hard time in his old age. He's got some good hoofs on him, right? Yeah. Bad set of hoofs. Yeah. You can actually oh, just stick him right there for the photo. Sun coming. Very impressed. Thanks so much. That was a good shot. Because he I mean he was sitting he was sitting, yeah, and you shot him yeah. through this hole. There wasn't, there wasn't much of a No, there wasn't much of a talk to you. Yeah, you know, the breeze was <laughs> a little bit breezy. Breezy? So. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, well worth it. Yeah. Uh, we got up this morning, wind was howling. Um, warm enough though. Anyway, we set out for a property uh, that have got a lot of sable on them and uh, one of Rob's dream animals. And um, with sable, you're always looking for one of the satellite bulls. You don't want to mess with the, with the herd bull. And um, we spotted this bull fairly early on. Um, and tried to do a stalk on him, but he just vanished on us. And then probably spent another hour or two looking for him and uh, we finally found him holed up in this thicket lying down with the wind howling um, only place Rob could shoot him was the neck and he hit him dead center stone dead and just a magnificent bull old table bull very very heavy very long just a beautiful beautiful animal congratulations thank Rob. you very much Nick much appreciated absolutely thank you Thank you. Um, it's a windy afternoon, um, but we did some glassing and we've seen a big gemsbuck herd up against the hillside, sheltered out the wind. Um, we've got a nice valley that we can stalk up, so we've got a good 20 minute, half an hour walk ahead of us, and uh, then we'll see what's there. Hopefully, we can kind of find a nice big gemsbuck bull. Here it goes. Thank you. Ready? Bring your snack with. If we do get in to a nice shooting range with a herd this big, it's just a patience gap because we've got to find the one that we want. Okay, we okay. keep your eyes Yeah, 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 no. And we just need to be sure we're on the same. I'm all, okay. Did you get it? Like did you get any of that on video? Yes, yeah, awesome. Yeah. Yes, I thought he was going to get flattened. One went just about straight over the top of him. He, went, he actually went for it. Try to hop it on the way past. Good boy. Good boy. Uh, Where's another one? Where's the next one? Hmm? What's that? What's that? What's this? Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. What's this? Oh, well, we were um, off on a uh, little walk through the scrub looking for the uh, Gemsbuck.
and uh, we came across a uh, hole -ho when Nick pointed out an ear and then uh, within a split second three warthog emerged and uh, almost took us took the dogs out and one of us so very exciting <laughs> and a great learning curve for young Bailey there. <laughs> See, the important thing is I made sure I was okay. <laughs> got, got, got past oh, the pigs and I, and I, I was safe, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Others are all feeding there, they may come out past us. Yeah, so those little calves are just playing. Just sit tight. They may yet want to feed down. Yeah. Just gone their way out. going to get them. The third group have kind of gone into this thicket here and I can't, I can't see them. Yeah. Yeah, not much you can do. yeah. I think it's cut our losses. We had a good afternoon. Good man. Yeah. yeah. No, that's fine. Getting, fine. getting, no, no point going the yeah, and it's getting, getting late as well and we've yes. got time on our side. So. A couple went up there, was yeah. definitely one up top they moved, there. They moved in the yeah, thicket. Yeah, moved into the thicket there. Yeah. If they had gone out, it might have been we were in a good place. Not, of, yes. not often that you stalk Gamesbrook and they've got no idea that you're there. That was very cool. Mm. I thought one had picked the one that was just in that cow that was just looking Yeah, at she obviously couldn't, she knew something was there, but yeah. she obviously couldn't. You see all those yeah, I mean. they were all looking down at it as well. Yeah. <laughs> and a kudu. Okay, so we're back up in the mountains early this morning, looking for the uh, the elusive mountain kudu. And uh, fortunately, uh, the sun's out, and it's a really nice, clear day. And we've already seen a couple of nice bulls on the opposing uh, hillside, so it could be promising. It looks promising anyway. So let's hope we can uh, maybe get a shot off sometime. <laughs> Yeah. 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 
Sit up, see how comfortable you are. Is that a good ball, A very good ball. Let's get you set up, my man. Because once he walks into that bush, we're not going to see him again. Give him another one if we can. Put it, crank it in. Nice. Yeah, no, you hit him solid. Okay, got him there. Deep breath. You hit him good. Okay, he's kind of walking down now. Okay. Okay, can you see him? 
take a uh, try and hit him. Even through the bush, just stick one into him. Okay, he's gone into the bush now. All right, let's just keep an eye on him. Okay, no worries. First shot look, looked like a good hit to me. Yeah. Okay, he's just walked, you can't see him now. He's walked into that thicket. We're just going to stand here for at least 10, 15 minutes, waiting to see what what happens. Uh, he looked like he hit him. Mm. Looked like he hit him good. Yeah, don't always go down. Okay. Okay, you can put the safety on. Hmm? No, no, he went in from that, just behind that thorn tree into that real thick stuff there. Um, we're just going to give the bullet a chance to work yeah. and then we'll send Alvin over there while we maintain. Look, we go for the shoulder because it breaks the shoulder and falls down. But if you get him behind the shoulder, it's right into the engine. Yeah, I see you're going to be a part of Yeah, you're going to test your draad. Okay, I see you're going to the So I'm sending in, I'm going to send him in from the bottom side, so if he does get up, he comes, gets pushed towards the top. Yeah, he would up, he would knock up on. Yeah, yeah okay, too. Uh, yeah, no fences mean anything to them. Good. Yeah. The shot sort of felt good. I, I, no, I, I replayed no. it in my mind. I'm thinking maybe no, no, I, I, went I went a little bit higher. I went a little bit higher. I think I should have. I should have. I like to try and see it on the. Mm. If I can put it on the big screen. I mean, all I can say to you is, if you want to shop a games book out for a kudu, if you walk up to, I'm not going to charge you any extra. Oh, we'll think about it. Think about we'll it. Think about it. We'll we we'll make our way back to camp. Right. And we can yeah. What we going now? Yeah. Are we? All right. I'm just going to stay and look around. I, I don't think we're going to find that animal. Huh? No, we have just, just got no idea what direction you went in. It's a, I'm really um, down on myself. I didn't put a second shot on it. So if we just had some have... blood to know, okay, it's gone into this valley, yeah, then at least we could... Yes, that's correct. Yeah, oh, if that was the case, I'd be, I would have been with them yeah. looking. So, um, yeah, I mean, you could be in there, you could be in there. Yeah, no, there. no, I don't feel too good about it, I'll be honest. But, uh, gone straight over there. There's not much we can do about it. No. What we were going to do, we were going to, yeah, anyway, look, we'll talk about it. We'll talk about it. We've got. Yeah, we've got two days. days. Yeah, no, no worries. I'll no, just no, make, our way, make our way back to camp. And yeah, we'll discuss for, sure, for sure. For sure. No worries. So here we are. We're, we're uh, away from the mountain now, mountains now. We uh, were up early this morning and uh, saw some good bulls up there, but we just didn't have any luck. So on the way home, Nick suggested we uh, call into a different property. We have been here before, and we did see some bulls, and um, so now we're just doing a bit of spotting in the, this lovely sunshine, and uh, we've 
seen a bull and a cow, so we're just going to keep looking. Thank you.
家的手。No, no, no, unless you hit him plumb on the shoulder, he's always going to run a few yards. Okay. Yeah. Okay, safety on him. Okay. Huh? No, it sounded good. Okay, safety on. Let's walk forward. Huh? No, I thought for one. Yeah, no. How's your heart? Yeah, because the back one had made it. Sorry? The yeah, back one had made it. Yeah. Look, there wasn't much difference in the two. One had completely different shapes, but yeah. yeah. Okay. This is probably the nicer yeah, shape. I, I did want to hit the you know, yeah. yeah, no, no, that's why I said go for the front side of him because that was clear yeah. but then when, once he cleared then it better sh good? huh it no it did look good yeah he's, he's down. down he's down yeah true true i'm mad there he is <laughs> We take that for you, yes, go and you want me unloaded? I'll unload it for you, you go yes. and examine your oh. magnificent. You don't often shoot a kudu at 60 yards. Right. <clears throat> yeah, you hit him right on the money. Yeah. Not blinking. He's touched. See, well, you did well to keep your nerves under control because I was shaking. He's all good. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful animal. Beautiful. She got all these in, but only the ones complete. Beautiful, beautiful animal. Yeah. Painless death as I can. 
I said, you've given this thing a through and through. I mean, there's blood pouring out the other side. The first blood only starts... The first blood will only start here somewhere, I would guess. So they run 40, 50 yards before you get any bleeding. And that's with a through and through. You reckon he just stopped and fell over? Yeah, he would have just come in here and wobbled. and He would have probably fallen over on the run. Oh, I see. Yeah. So uh, yeah, his blood, yeah, he came in, yeah. Oh my God. Beautiful red down here. The contrast in colour. Yeah, so he's got a very, he's beautiful, got a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful neck, nice neck on him. Beautiful tail, look. Look at that. Oh, thank you. Because I'm thinking, Rob's not going to be the happy one back at camp tonight. <laughs> it's not going to be his usual chirpy self, but... I'm back. He's back. <laughs> <laughs> Rockstar emotion. Rockstar. <laughs>
open. Okay. Deep breath on the, on the shoulder. Good shot. Keep an eye on him for a bit, I don't think he's going anywhere. It looks like it him slap on the shoulder. Good to me. <sighs> Never wrecking stuff is bushwhack hunting. Come here, mate. <laughs> oh god. Yeah. Spiral slam in seven days. Awesome. He's still there, eh? Right? Yeah, he's still there. We don't, we don't need one, eh? No, no, he don't need another one. No, that hit him. It looked like it took his shoulders out. From dead boredom to yeah, good man. to absolute good action. Good spotting, good spotting. Like, I'm glad he walked into that triangle. Yeah, well, he yeah. was. Yeah. To get up. There was, the there was actually a female yes, came out with him. Yeah. Anushka said you saw a girl up there, and I, I said to her, "That's good news." Yeah. Oh no, and it didn't look too bad. Eh? No, that's nice. That's a very nice old ram. There's got oh. no hair on his neck. Oh, no. He's not, he's not moving a muscle, are you? No, you don't. Uh, you guys just keep an eye on him. I'll bring the roads right here, so I'll bring the truck here, and then we'll all ride down, and then we'll make the somewhat odious hike up to <laughs> where he is. Send me up there, I'll do it. <laughs> Undescribable, elated, amazing. I'm feeling awesome, actually, yes. Thanks. <laughs> I just, wow. What'd you range him at, Nick? Uh, 160. Not bad, not bad. You just finished your, your spiral slam. Unbelievable. An unbelievable feeling. Absolutely amazing. Wow. And it just, I just felt the shot was good from, this, from, the, from the millisecond. So, what can I say? Thank you. Wow. A little bit of a shake there and it's <laughs> just a little. Great ball, he looks amazing from here, so I can just imagine what he's going to look like when we get down there. Okay, we're wrapping the hunting in the Macazana Mountains. Um, 
somehow we've arrived at a spiral slam in seven days which is I mean just unbelievable and you've just shot some amazing animals um, I can't even remember what the original list was Rob but <laughs> here we are um, we were up here not that early this morning I'd say about 7.30 getting the sun out and um, we've been slogging it out really didn't see many bushback and we were actually having lunch on the top of the mountain and we spotted a ram walking through a gap right at the bottom here and so we figured there was nothing else on and we drove around and uh, had the pleasure of sitting in the sun for three hours or so and um, Alvin spotted a ewe uh, which is always a good sign uh, so we kind of focused our attention on this on this area here but as you can see it's pretty thick around us and a beautiful old ram duly came out not easy to pick them up in this stuff and um, fortunately for us he just stepped into a little clearing here and stood broadside and Rob made just a great shot straight through the shoulders and for me one of the most beautiful beautiful trophies a mature bushback ram is just something special they are just elusive and clever and shy and just yeah an iconic animal and just a fantastic way to end off a spiral slam just an ever, truly a wonderful achievement congratulations thank really. you very much nick yeah it was it's a hunt of a lifetime uh, yes to, to get the spiral slam it wasn't an intention but it's worked out it's something we went for in the last uh, day or so wasn't it we had a bit of a discussion and yeah. uh, uh, swapped out some uh, different animals uh, according to where we were and how what presented and um yeah i just couldn't be happier with this uh, great old bull isn't he? He's just no, hurt. just the hard, horns are fantastic and hardly and, a tooth left in his mouth. Yeah, yeah. So it's going to make a, a great trophy. So thanks again, Nick. I much appreciate it. to everybody. Just, yeah, all just all uh, the uh, behind the scenes help and uh, everybody's eyes. Uh, it's just been amazing. So awesome. Thank been you a, very much. Been a privilege to hunt with you. I've really awesome. enjoyed it. Oh, and same back at you. It's been awesome. Thank you very much, Nick. that we got from our navy uh, Merrick. We shot a domestic pig a couple of weeks ago. Free range? Fantastic, well done. Well done, Steve. Awesome, awesome day, and uh, good day, good day. Good day. Good day. Rob on your spiral slam, very special. Well done. Much appreciated. Oh, oh. Hope you guys have all been enjoying yourselves, and oh. bon appetit. Right. Thank you. Thank you very much. <laughs> it's uh, quite a target. So, Robert Mugabe dies, 
and he ends up going to <laughs> heaven, you know. As all the charms do. Yeah, and he gets to the pearly gates and walks up, <laughs> and St. Peter's standing at the front of the pearly gates and goes, Hello, St. Peter. My name is Robert Mugabe. I'm from Zimbabwe. You must be expecting me. <laughs> Oh, so Peter <laughs> opens up the big book <laughs> and he goes, Robert, 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 Robert. Sorry, uh, no Robert Bagabe. He says, no, please, 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 look again. Look again. <laughs> you must make a mistake. This is Robert Mugabe. I'm, I'm president of Zimbabwe. So you're right. So he goes, no, 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 no. No, sorry, <coughs> you are not here. Um, I tell you what. Go down the corridor, you're going to find this big set of stairs and you walk all the way down the stairway right till you get to the bottom <laughs> and knock on the door. Oh. I'm sure they're expecting you there. He says, oh, thank you very much, but uh, can I leave all my luggage here? He says, yes, 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 you're welcome, you can leave your luggage. And off he goes. But this is at quarter to five. Oh. And the pearly gates close it. Oh, oh. So, off he goes, goes down the staircase. <laughs> Eventually, it's just about five o'clock. So Peter gets well. It's five o'clock, you know. And he moves the luggage inside, closes and locks up the early gates. It's Mr. Mugabe insisted. So anyway, Robert gets down to the bottom of the staircase. It took him a while to be down. He's quite old. Oh. <laughs> Locks the door. Eventually, the door opens. The door opens. And he goes, uh, Hello, I am. And the devil says, You are Robert. He says, Yes, yes. Finally, somebody who appreciates me. I'm Robert Mugabe. I said, please, Robert, come inside. Come inside, my son. Come inside. <laughs> so, Robert goes, uh, Mr. Devil, my luggage is still at the pearly gates. He says, not a problem. I will send some demons up to go. He <laughs> closes. He says, cause two demons there. He says, demons, go up and go fetch Mr. Mugabe's luggage. Off we go, running up the stairs. But as I said, it's five o'clock. They get there, the early gates are closed. Oh. And these two demons look at each other and go, Do we risk going back down there without Mr. Mugabe's baggage? <laughs> what do we do now? So they reckon, okay, we're going to climb these gates. Ooh. We're going to get the, Whoa. we're going to go get his, That's pretty his luggage. So the one helps the other one on his shoulders. Ooh. Up he goes over the gates. But St. Peter hadn't walked far away by that time. Oh. And he looks back and he sees these demons climbing over the gates. And he runs. And he goes to the office, God's office. <laughs> and Peg, do not disturb Simon. <laughs> <laughs> he smashes the door open and he runs into God's office. God, 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 we have a huge problem. God goes, St. Peter, really? I've got more problems than what you could ever think of. I've got floods on the earth. I've got um, exploding, uh, what do you call those things? Okay. Okay, <laughs> tidal wave, you name it. I've got so much to deal with on the earth. What can be so bad that you come running in here like this and, and just bursting down my door? <laughs> he says, but God, Robert Mugabe has been in hell for 15 months, and already there are refugees coming out of our country. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> <laughs>
Hi everyone, um, here I am at the end of my South African hunting safari. Just want to say a few quick words before it all comes to an end and we fly out tomorrow. So um, yeah, it's it's been an awesome time. We've been out hunting every day, spending sometimes 12 to 14 hours out on the road and traversing some amazing country from um, hillsides, open plains, mountains with spectacular views and I've had nothing but an awesome time while hunting. We've seen so many amazing animals and also hunted some great, uh, got some great trophies. So that side of it's been fantastic. So just want to say a quick shout out to my friends and my family. You know who you, who you all are, otherwise, because you'd be watching this video. Um, so uh, firstly to my wife Maria, I love you. Um, we've had a great uh, marriage together and through that we've had our daughter Caitlin, who, Caitlin, you know that I love you and I'm here doing something that I've always wanted to do and it's just the best feeling. So on, and on another note, I'd also like to just pay my respects to uh, some people that I've lost in my life, uh, starting with mum and dad. Um, thank you so much. Uh, I, I love you both. And I hope uh, that you may be looking down and be happy that I'm doing something that I that I have always wanted to do and I love doing. So, and also to a couple of friends that I've also lost, uh, Ross Leonti, a very long time friend, fishing uh, compatriot. Uh, we had some fantastic times, Ross. Um, I was so sorry uh, that you had to leave us. Um, it left a big hole in my heart. So I just want to pay homage to you, mate, because you meant a lot and you taught me a lot through my life. So thank you very much. And also to Sam, Sam Indriolo, uh, one of my best hunting uh, partners, friends. Uh, we spent many years uh, out shooting in the field uh, at uh, very, lots of different properties. Um, you know, doing what we do, uh, uh, fox shooting, uh, culling, um, all the great things that, not just the shooting, but all the great times that we spent in camp and preparing for trips and, and taking people out and showing them uh, the benefits of hunting and culling and shooting. So um, you taught me a lot. Uh, it taught me so much, uh, not only about shooting, but about life uh, in general. So I just want to pay my respects uh, to you, mate. And um, yeah, on, on that note, uh, uh, I just want to say that I've had a fantastic time and um, I look forward to sharing all my mem all the photos and videos and uh, bragging all about the trophies that, that I took. So good on you and thanks for taking the time to watch. See you later.